Tyler, thanks for joining me. Everybody knows by now, November 18th, you get a shot at the EBU, the European title. Um, but let's go back before we get to there. Let's talk Tyler Denny and boxing as a whole. Um, where did it all begin? Why did it all begin? Why did you pick the toughest sport in the world? <laughs> Um, my friend at the time, I was probably about 15, 16, and he, he was trying to get me to come down for years to the boxing gym, but I was just into football. And then one time I went with him, and like I sparred, I think, in my second session, and um, I never looked back. I loved it, man. Well, I say loved it. But That's early doors. I know, I know, I know. Well, I sparred this guy, and he was just taking me around a bit, really, and it, he was older than me. I think he was probably like mid 20s or something, yeah. but he did get the better of me, and I never liked it. So I carried on going, carried on going, till I, so I could beat him up. That was just my little aims, you know what I mean? And uh, it's competitive edge. And then even that was even having a fight. And then since I had my first fight, I've yeah. loved it, man. I mean, it's, it's probably fair to say you've done it the, the hard way. Yeah. Um, you've fought for the English title countless times. Yeah. You've, you, you've done the small horse shows. You've, you've done it the, the spit and sawdust way. What does it feel like now to be, you know, on, on Sky Sports or Boxer fighting for a European title? It's madness, man. It's madness. But I feel like I can appreciate it more as well because I've yeah. been there, um, selling the tickets and the small little shows and stuff. And you know, <laughs> it's mad as well because you know when you first start off, you need to sell so many tickets and that like, otherwise you can't you can't even fight because you're not paying for your opponents yeah. and all this stuff. Whereas now it's like, I I, I can't get ready with fight. Like there's there's too many people who want the tickets. Do you know what I mean? So it, it's mad. Just keep building, keep building, yeah. and. I'm buzzing, man. Uh, European title in Wolverhampton, on Sky, on a big show like that. I mean, I guess you might be used to being the away fighter for, for at least for a period of time anyway. Yeah. What does it feel like to be, you know, the, the home fighter? Yeah, it's good. I had it last time with, uh, in Birmingham at Resorts yeah. World, but um, Wolves was even better for me, I think, like, like black country and that. So. And I wasn't too happy with my performance last time as well, so I want to make sure, put a real good statement on and win the title in style. Do you feel like it affects your performance or, or how you approach the fight, knowing that you are the away fighter? Do you, do you approach it differently? No, I approach everyone the same, but I think it was more last one. I mean, I don't, I don't take credit away from McGowan, I, I, um credit to him, but I just thought November, February, and May, yeah. and like it's just the camp, camp, camp. It's not so much the fight; it's just training two, three times a day, every yeah. day. It's got it was taking it out of me, man. Yeah. So I'm, even like two weeks before that last fight, I said I need a break after this, and here I am. I feel better than ever now. Yeah. I'm ready to fight now. If I could fight now, um, I'd be in there. Yeah, I saw you getting a, uh, having a proper sweat. Yeah, yeah. So it looked like you're ready. Um, in terms of your opponent, he obviously isn't here today. Do you feel like that's because he just didn't really fancy being around you? Yeah, I don't know. It's a long journey from uh, Italy, Italy yeah. to be fair. But it would have been nice just to size him up and stuff and, you know, let him know that I'm in business and I'm coming to take his belt. I mean, you seem to... You're always in exciting fights. That goes without saying. But you seem to always be willing and ready to go to the well yeah. in order to, to find that extra bit that you need in order to win these fights. Is that something that you can continue doing? Or is that something, is that just something deep inside you that it's just like, I'll, I'll, I'll outwill you? I think so, because like, sometimes I've been tired, sometimes I'll just, I, I, I'll do whatever it means. I've got to win by any means necessary, yeah. do you know what I mean? And if I can't win by outskilling the guy, I'll, I'll outgrit him if I have to, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It'd be nice if I could just go in there and jab and not get hit all night, but it's, I don't think I've got that in there. Yeah, you can't see a terror yeah. Yeah, every yeah. time. So we'll have it out, man, if we've got to have it out. And, I think this guy will eat. Looking at him, his tight guard, come forward fighter. So it's going to be a good uh, yeah, clash of styles, man. Um, you, you would have had some incredible wins, at, at least uh, you know a few times since you've been on Sky. Throughout this journey, what's been your most the the, the win you're most proud of? Uh, Brad Ray, definitely, because at the time <laughs> I remember being at the press conference and uh, Ben Ben was on the bet. He might be like the, the next Ricky Hatton and, and I was thinking, hang on a minute, man. I'm the champion here, like, how about me? You know what I mean? And like, obviously, because he was from Manchester and there's building, he had a big profile coming through and that. And I think I was, I was, I think I was like five to one underdog or something. So to do that in Manchester as yeah, well, it, it, was, it felt that nice. That was man. a proper performance, yeah. it really was. Um, did that performance surprise you? 
Um, I wouldn't say it's surprising because I know I'm capable of, but in a way, because you, you know when you're the, the built-in, this massive like it's not his fault either, by the way. But that's just that's just the promoter's job and stuff. Do you know what I mean? The promoter did well. He was, um, yeah, I think that first round knockout yeah. against the one guy, yes. Namir Carmon and stuff. So to go in there and do, do a good job on him. Yeah. And I feel like. Like they was already making plans for his next fight and stuff before that, do you know what I mean? And that kind of gave me a bit more oomph about me to think I'm going to rip up the script and, you know, um, it's, it's nothing personal, obviously, do you know what yeah. I mean? But now I'm, I'm in that position now and I, and I want to continue it, so you got to keep winning. It's, yeah. it, that's, it's a cutthroat business, isn't it? You're obviously from the black country, you're, pl you're proudly from yeah, the black yeah. country. Um, we have a fight in Wolves. How many are you expecting? Are you expecting big support? Yeah. Massive, I think. Yeah. Honestly, I think I don't know what the the thing is there, but I can't you, get any more tickets. More yeah, yeah. I, I need I need it to be bigger. I need it to be bigger. Honestly, like even today I've had like another twenty tickets. So I've just checked my phone. I've got. A, I feel bad because I've promised people that definitely tickets, and I ain't got them to give them. But I'm <laughs> hoping someone else doesn't turn yeah, yeah, up exactly. with the money or something yeah. or whatever. I, I don't know. I need. I, mean, look, I need to ticket, get them in there. Ticket sellers on. They're not everywhere in boxing, you know, yeah. and it's quite rare that you get somebody that is is so so popular in their in their area, and it's just well, you're it, a bit of a hometown it, hero. Yeah, it it surprised me as well, to be fair, because I fought away so many fights, so I couldn't really judge how much tickets I do if I was yeah. fighting like I fought at Wembley, Manchester, and that. Um, but since then, I've obviously been on Sky Alps, yeah. so everyone can see it and stuff, and build my profile and. Like there's, there's not enough tickets. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's a nice feeling to have, but I feel I'm gonna feel sorry for some people who promised tickets. So do not do, man. <laughs> well, it's, it's also a, it's, a, it's a big night for you in in your development and in, in your career because you you get to fight for a European title. You know, yeah. most people never get that opportunity yeah. in, in their lives. How much do you know about your opponent? What do you expect from him? I'm expecting a tough fight. To be fair, I know people going about his age, like forty something, but. Yeah. He's still a European champion, do you know what I mean? And it's, it's a higher level than I've ever fought at. But at the same time, I feel like them English title defences was probably higher level than English title. Do you know what I mean? We could have easily fought for a British title. Yeah. For, say me and Brad Rail, for instance, Brad Pauls was 16 and I or something at the yeah. time. And no one would have said anything. But I just couldn't get I couldn't get a British title, but I couldn't deny more than I yeah, could do. Exactly. So um, I've moved on and for the better as well. Do you know, European is better than the British for me. I, I, I was going on about the British, but it was more the fact I wanted to progress from the English. Of course. I was getting fed up really. Yeah. But it's, it's been worth the wait, 100%. Final question, November 18th, Wolverhampton, do we get a new European champion? Oh, 100%, man, 100%. That's how I got it signal when I had to say, just make sure you bring my belt on the 18th, do you know what I mean? Because I need to take it home, man. I can't wait for it. Um, I mean, it, I, I don't know the guy, but his time is coming to an end, man, European champion. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for yeah, chatting man. with me. Yeah, I'll see you in a fight with me, man. Respect, man. See you later.